What's up weirdos and wackadoodles? I am back for the first garden tour of the year. It's Memorial Day weekend, which is a little bit later than I like to do my first garden tour. Uh, but you'll see why in a minute. Uh, I've been pretty busy doing a lot of planting. That's part of the reason why you haven't seen as many gaming videos. Because I've been uh, pretty busy with this. Um, first thing is I redid this little area over here. I planted berries in here. Uh, blueberries and lingonberries. We have a couple blackberries in here as well. And then I got a few salmon berries. I planted them over there. So it's looking pretty good. Uh, the berries that were already here are really starting to take off. We actually have blueberries on them for once. It's amazing. Hopefully the birds won't get them. I'd really like to harvest them this year. Uh, but anyway, let's head over this way. The lettuce is doing great. Uh, we could probably pick some today, I think. It's, uh, yeah, there's uh, at least three rows in there. I planted some more, but it really hasn't come up, so I might have to replant that. Uh, in this mess of a bed is some Swiss chard. I really have to weed this, but uh, it is starting to come up. You can see it right there. And then I have kale and arugula in this bed and a few other little greens and some raspberries that came up. I, I actually transplanted all the raspberries over to the food forest over there. And uh, these ones came back, so <laughs> there must be some roots still in there or something. Mustard is flowering. I'm just going to let it go. Uh, and then into the first part of the garden, I have some mint planted on the outside as well as the inside. I have a little sunflower in there as well. well. Let's come on in to the garden. I'll show you what we have planted. I've got peas in here. These are shell peas. There's a couple radishes that came back from last year. And then that bed was full of peas. I forgot I planted peas in there. And then I found them while I was weeding them. Uh, I, le I left one in there. I, I didn't get them all. But I moved, I moved most of them over to that other bed over there. And there's, uh, there's some sugar snap peas in there. We're going to plant some celery in there as well. Uh, in this bed, we have brandywine tomatoes. They look kind of dinky, but don't worry, guys. They're going to do just fine. Uh, my tomatoes, always they always start out a little bit slow. And the same thing with my peppers. I've got bell peppers over here. There's a little bit of celery in there as well. Red cabbage in this bed right here. I already have everything covered. I'm not taking any chances with the cabbage moths. And then this bed is basil. I'm going to be planting some more at some point. But uh, this is a good start for us. I've got cherry tomatoes in here. These are black cherries. We have onions in this bed. I think they're just yellow onions or white onions. Something like that. And then my chamomile is almost going to flower. Look at this. A little flowers starting to form on them. I can't believe it. it I, like, I, I thought these were dead. And then they came back and there's a bunch of plants in here. So I was happy about that. And then the thimbleberries. Again, they're, they're really starting to bush out. I've got tons of plants just popping up here. So they're, they're spreading by their roots. I haven't seen any flowers on them yet. So... We'll see. Maybe we'll maybe we'll finally get some berries this year. Hopefully, I do. Oh, there's a flower right there. Yeah. So we we might get some berries. Hopefully, um, they're one of those berries that you can't really ship. So you don't really see those in the store. And they're, they're one of those berries that will just go bad after a couple hours. So you got to eat it immediately. Uh, these are cherry tomatoes in here. I think these are Matt's wild cherries. And then I have cucumbers in here, as well as a little bit of dill. Another bed of cucumbers and dill, and then some pole beans in there as well. I don't have anything in this bed. I cleaned out most of the strawberries because they were taken over. And as you can see, there, there's strawberries everywhere. We did put down some red rocks. Um, we're hoping that it's going to deter the birds. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I see a strawberry in there that's already pretty red so it'll just be a couple days and we'll be harvesting our first strawberry but they are taking over they took over this bed they took over that bed so I, I pulled as many out and I transplanted them elsewhere gave them I gave them away some of them and then uh, yeah I still got to weed this a little bit but uh, it, it's looking good there's lots of strawberries in there and then the other garden is filled with strawberries too so 
we're gonna have more than we know what to do with it's gonna be strawberry armageddon 2.0 because last year was uh pretty crazy i think this year is going to be just as crazy so let's head over to the other garden i still have most of my plants out i, I still have a lot of stuff to plant but we, we've gotten a good portion of it done so far i've got turnips in this bed never grown turnips before so it'll be uh i guess we'll find out <laughs> i don't know uh these are i think these are kellogg's breakfast tomatoes so they're like a big orange tomato i grew them once before i didn't really like them but i figured i'd give them another shot maybe they'll do better this time uh lots of starter plants here that i gotta put in these are carrots over here i've got at least four rows two of them came up pretty well the other ones didn't come up very well so i might redo those replant them a little bit more cabbages in here these are green cabbages and then i've also got my sugar snap peas and then a couple chive plants in here and i don't have anything else over here so i'm still trying to figure out what i'm going to put in this little patch right here but uh, i'll plant something in there i have more peas here and then a couple rows of beets right here I'm going to add one more row, might even get that done today, and then romaine lettuce right here. So I'm letting this get nice and big, and then we're going to pick it. I'll probably, probably plant another row here pretty soon, and then probably a row of pole beans over here. These are bush beans, and you can see they're just starting to come up. So looking forward to that. Still have to weed this bed over here. This will probably be bush beans too. I might even put some sunflowers in here. Because I have a bunch of them over there. I've got to figure out where I'm going to put them. So I think I'm going to put probably seven or so in this bed. And then I have a bed of zucchinis. Over here. And they're doing pretty good. So looking forward to that. The kiwis are just taking off. They're just incredible. Look at these kiwis. These are uh, hardy kiwis, so they're like a kiwi berry, pretty much. But uh, they're all doing really nice. I have to weed this bed. This is really bad. You can see there's a bunch of lemon balm in here and other stuff. But the kiwis are taking over. These, I don't know what this is, Japanese knotweed or whatever it is, but it's really taking over. i got to get rid of it. And then we have more strawberries over here. I see a couple that are really starting to go red. So again, it'll be a couple days. And then these are banana peppers in here. And then obviously the food forest over there. I'll have to do a comprehensive tour at some point. Um, I'd, li I'd like to do that at some point, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that later on. Um, and then this is our acidic guild, which is not as acidic anymore. I ripped out pretty much all the lingonberries and I moved them over to the sunken garden over there because they weren't doing very well here. Uh, it was just, I, I think it was just too much sun. I think that was the problem. But uh, yeah, a couple plums in here. This is comfrey right here. The bees absolutely love it. Hi there, Mr. Bumblebee. How are you doing? And then I have a few blueberries in here too. I'm not going to go looking for them though. I really got to weed this. But that's uh, that's pretty much uh, the gated garden. Now I'm going to show you the other things that we've been working on. Um, I did uh, I, I did find that watermelons and tomatoes and stuff they seem to do better outside the garden for whatever reason. And cucumbers. I do have tomatoes and cucumbers in the garden but i decided i'm gonna put all my canning tomatoes out here you can see i have a little uh, decoy fox out there that whole patch i tilled up i got a new tiller and uh, it's really nice i can basically till up a seven foot section with my tractor and uh it, it does a great job like I, it's the best probably the best investment i've ever made because uh, I, I can just run through, like this patch over here, I ran through this probably five times on each each uh, row. And I think I think it took me maybe half an hour. And I just, I tilled it up better than any kind of rototiller 
would ever do. So really happy about that. I've got a bunch of marigolds in here. And then these are watermelons. I really, I really want watermelons, guys. I, I grew watermelons in 2020 and they did great. Kind of a similar year. It was really hot and dry that year. But uh, yeah, for whatever reason, they don't do well in the raised beds. I don't know if it's just too shaded in there or what. Too close to, too close to other plants. But they never did very well. But I, I gave them lots of space. They're, they're four feet apart in the rows. And then the rows are six feet apart. I think that'll be enough for them. I could have went bigger, but I figured this is this should be pretty good. They have plenty of room to sprawl. But uh, there are, I think, 26 mounds in here. So 26 mounds of watermelons, 26. I, most of these have at least two melons in each hill. Most of them. Some of them are just singles. But... Uh, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot, and, and I'm hoping I'll finally get watermelons this year. The big challenge is just keeping the rabbits and the uh, groundhogs out of them because they really like them. I know the groundhogs, they, they eat them, and then the deer, they all eat the leaves off of them. So I, I really got to be uh, really got to be out here, you know, taking care of them as much as possible, and we're hoping that the marigolds will help. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. And then I have another patch over here. I haven't planted it yet. Uh, that's going to be pumpkins. And then that patch over there with the canning tomatoes, I'm going to make a second swipe over there. And that's going to be cucumbers, all my pickling cucumbers. So it's looking pretty good. I still have a lot to plant. We're, we're, we're getting close to the end, though. But uh, that, that is part of the reason why you haven't seen as many gaming videos. Also, you know, we're, we're still kind of waiting on that missed update. And then uh, infected, I'll probably get another infected video out this week at some point. And like I said, I want to do a comprehensive food forest tour. I don't know when that's going to happen. I'd like to do that soon, but, uh, you know, odds are it'll probably be later on in the season. But I will do something like that at some point. So I think we're going to leave the video there. So if you enjoyed this one, give it a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Share with your friends. Subscribe to get more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.